Are you a fan? <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Dr. Alice. No way. I, I actually have his cell. Do you want me to call him? You, we could FaceTime you him. I would literally die. A game I grew up playing was Would You Rather? But now we're taking it medical. We're having a competition between a doctor and a nurse. Welcome, Bianca Anti Sarah, to the channel. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. This is gonna be awesome. I have to represent, you know, for, for all the nurses out there, especially the ER nurses, but here we are. So let's Whoa. take down Dr. White. You're not just a nurse. What yeah. else do you do on your spare time? I spend a lot of my time gaming. Um, that's been a huge portion of my life, like ever since I was little, like when my, when my dad came to America from Argentina, it was like sensory overload, like all the technology and stuff like that that we had here. So I very much so grew up around it. I do Twitch streams and I've been doing some, you know, TikToks and stuff like that. B, I'm a doctor who games, you're a nurse who games. I, I think we should give the audience a challenge. You get this video, to 100,000 likes, we're gonna do a gaming video, a gaming showdown oh, yeah. video. Would you rather wear a swimsuit at the hospital or scrubs at the beach? Oh, why? I think I know the answer for both of us here. Scrubs at the beach. Yeah. I'd rather be yeah. labeled corny uh -huh. rather than uh, like trying to flaunt <laughs> something at work. Like, that would be problematic. Would you rather wear the same pair of scrubs for the rest of your life or the same pair of underwear? Oh. That uh, is really hard. But if I wear the same set of scrubs, I can change my underwear. I think I would wear the same set of scrubs. I have to disagree with you there. <laughs> you would wear the same underwear? This is the thing, okay? This is my rationale. Both are disgusting and I don't recommend either. <laughs> Not that I would know from personal experience. I don't think However, we need to clarify that. I think like unanimously, universally, it's known to not wear your underwear for the rest yes. of your life or your scrubs. Yes. Okay, this is the thing. I've never, never gone home from a shift without something crazy on me. And I oh, mean- Oh, that's a good point. Never. When you have like multiple, like little one traumas and stuff like that coming in. I mean, stuff is flying, literally true, flying true. across. At least if it's my underwear, it's my underwear. You know? Would you rather insert a catheter or remove a wad of hair from a clogged shower drain? Ew, you don't even know. Is it like a mouse in there or is it a hairball? I think a catheter is easier. I agree. I, I do them so often. It's just yeah. like another part of my life, I guess. And it's funny too, yeah. because like, like I said, I started in the OR and then I, I went into ER. So like, that's always been like my specialty. I'm very good at them because I catheterize everything. Excuse me. I'm good at them and people will hunt me down on the unit if they have a difficult catheterization. Would you rather work a 24 hour shift or oversleep and be late for your shift? Oh. Yeah, easily I would do a 24 hour shift like versus being late. I am super funny about being on time and being where I'm supposed to be. The anxiety that would ensue from me being like late to a shift, I would never ever, ever want to experience that again. To me, after three yes. years of residency, working 24 hours mm -hmm. is no biggie. I am like you, I get so nervous when I oversleep. Uh, yeah. I literally break down, I feel like I let everyone down. Mm -hmm. I actually have bad dreams of mm -hmm. missing my alarm clock, so much so that if I have to wake up early in the morning for something important, I will mm -hmm. wake up an hour before, 30 minutes before, 20 minutes before, mm -hmm. and grab my phone, and, did I oversleep, did I oversleep, when I yes. totally didn't need to do that. Would you rather redo your medical education or redo high school? Oh, oh high school, all day. Yeah. Med school, I think I handled well. High school? Could have done a lot better. I would redo high school. I get new nurses all the time asking, well, I shouldn't say new nurses, aspiring nurses, people who want to be nurses. How was nursing school? How was this? And it's like, oh my gosh, you you poor soul. <laughs> you poor soul. I would never want to do that again. It, I mean, ever, 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 ever. Do you never think you came out school. of nursing school ready to be a nurse or did you think you needed a lot of guidance? Oh, no. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> oh, think no. any nurse is ever. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think any nurse is ever gonna come out of um, nursing school fully prepared. I think the most important thing is having a preceptor that you trust um, because we have a, a huge issue like in nursing to begin with where they say that nurses eat are young and it's like it's it's crazy. Is that it, is yeah. that a real saying? That is a real thing. What does that a mean? Real thing. It's like when nurses come in it's almost like I don't want to say hazing but it's like they go after these nurses. They're not welcoming. They're not they, they just treat nurses very bad. Like we even, at every hospital that I've been at- Who's they? You're not talking been, about us, right? No, I'm talking about nurses. Nurses versus oh. nurses. Would you rather receive treatment from a med student or a retired doctor? A retired mm. doctor. A retired doctor's experience, even though the knowledge might not be the most up to date, is gonna be mm. better 
than a med student. At the same time, if it is a doctor of like radiology, I don't know how useful that would be in terms of like my general health. <laughs> I would have to go with the same thing. I'd have to say a retired doctor. I guess it depends on like how long they've been retired for, but if you're in the same mindset. 65 that I am, years. Like, they retire you know, at age 30. Medicine is not cookie cutter. Like you can have the knowledge down, but like the experiences are gonna be like, no, I'm telling you, like this is this is not gonna work out this way, you know? Would you rather treat a rude, ungrateful patient or treat a patient with a difficult helicopter parent or family member? Ooh. I would rather treat a difficult patient. I don't feel like anybody is difficult for the sake of being difficult. I think that we all have varying experiences and situations as of what led them here. And I'm thinking to the ER. So what brought you in yeah. to constitute this emergency? This may be the most frightening thing that you have ever experienced in your life. If you can get to the root of not only why they're there at the ER, but also instill a trust in them, that they trust you, that you know what you're talking about, that you, you genuinely do care about them, I think it's usually human nature that somebody is going to be more receptive to you. You know, because- Whoa, 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 you can't flip the patient who's rude and ungrateful. They are forever rude and ungrateful in this scenario. No. And the helicopter <laughs> parent is forever helicopter parent in this scenario. I still am gonna go with like the difficult patient. If no matter what I do, they're gonna be rude and ungrateful. Do I want it to be the family member or the patient? I think the family member, we can, take them out of the situation momentarily. The time was where it gets tricky is in the pediatric space yes. when I'm taking oh care goodness, of kids yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the parents are really, let's say nervous or get, have gotten some bad advice, perhaps mm -hmm. are even vaccine hesitant. Those are scenarios that are really difficult to grapple with. Would you rather travel back in time to treat patients with the bubonic plague or treat soldiers wounded during the Civil War? Did we even have ways to treat people for the bubonic plague? I feel like everyone just died. You were probably dying alongside your patients. Yeah, and like, you know, that that's where that whole, like the mask with the crow and stuff comes in and they would yeah. keep like the herbs in the beak and then they'd wear wax coated cloaks. You know how when you go into a room and it's like the smell of sickness, shall I say? Like, you know, infection and stuff yeah. like that. They called it the miasma. And so they thought that that cloak was gonna prevent the miasma getting them. Well, but... since you just gave like a really fun fact about bubonic plague outfits, when you were fighting in battle in the Civil War, it was actually advised by high generals that you have clean uniforms. Because if you were ever to be shot, it mm -hmm. would then take the clothing and get it inside your wound. And thereby, if it's dirty and it has like fungus or bacteria on it, you can actually have a much worse infection and then die from your gunshot wound. Would you rather do charts and notes or do your taxes? Oh, you can't do a tie? Can you do a tie? I don't think a tie is acceptable. I would say taxes. I hate administrative work. Even notes is hard for me, but at least when I'm doing the notes, I'm at least thinking about my patients and something medical. But yeah. taxes is like, the worst version of notes. I actually would say I prefer to chart than uh, to do my taxes. I think I'm part of one of like the very small minority that I enjoy a very well-written note. I'm not saying that anybody else's notes are not well-written, but- Yeah, like, you are saying I'm... that. Don't take it back. <laughs> You're throwing the but, shade. <laughs> I know that like, when I read this note that I put, I'm like, you know exactly why they came in, why they're here, like what's going on. I can paint you a picture. You know, I don't know, I don't, I don't mind it as much as some other people do. Would you rather become Hugh Laurie's primary care physician or receive treatment from Dr. House? Oh. Have you seen any of my TikToks? Because like literally all my TikToks are about Dr. House and this is blowing me really? away. Really? Are you a fan? <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Dr. House. No way, I, I actually have his cell. Do you want me to call him? You, we could FaceTime you, him. I would literally die. Wait, you want me to add him to the Zoom? Dude, I would die. I would die. I'm not that cool. I don't have access to health. I would die. <laughs> I wanna be in charge of his life. I wanna get him off of the drugs that he's on. I wanna treat him holistically. I would receive treatment from Dr. House all day long. Really? All day long. He like experiments on his patients all the time. He like, will, mm -hmm. so someone will come in with a fever and chills and he'll be like, oh, make sure they don't have bubonic plague. Mm -hmm. I'll expose them to this. And I'm like, no, just can you not? He could tell me to walk into fire and I would do it. B, thank you for playing Would You Rather Medical Edition, Dr. Versner. Still don't know why there's a verse we're not playing against each other. Where can people follow you? Thank you so much for having me, first off. And I think the nurses won here clearly anyways, even though it wasn't competition. But 
I would say uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Bianca Anti Sarah, Twitch Bianca Anti Sarah, and also on my TikTok at Bianca Anti Sarah. I will eventually be doing some YouTube videos here. Just work on some editing, but that's coming up in the future too. I would love it if you guys swung by and said hi. And if you want to see some gaming videos that I've done in the past, Overwatch, Apex, they're right here. And as always, stay happy and healthy.